Hey guys, it's me, the Linux Drive, and today I'm going to be doing my continuing of the PlayStation 2 emulator PCSX tutorial, and today I'm going to be talking about how to set up the controls and the graphics for each game. Okay, so unless you would like to set up the controls for the emulator to work on a keyboard and mouse, which I will tell you is fairly hard, um, considered for the people that are used to controllers, I suggest you buy a controller like this one it's from Logitech so one that can, that can connect by USB alright so now that we got that um, just buy the controller I bought this one for fifteen dollars it's fairly affordable so I got it at Office Max it, it's not really that much of a price to spend but anyway um, let's move on to the screencast so that I can explain the rest of the tutorial. Okay guys, now that we're here in the screencast, um, click on the emulator and open it. Now, set up the control. Like I said, get the control and uh, plug it in. Once it's plugged in, go to config and look for controllers. Click on the plugin settings. Then click on Pad 1A tab. Okay, if you have memorized the layout, okay, of how the buttons were organized in the original PlayStation 2 controller, then you should do the same here. How? Like this. You click on Square. Okay? And, if you remember on the controller where the Square button was located, click on that button so that it can know um, where the button that is the square will be just as if it were a original PlayStation 2 controller So once you have it all laid out click on apply It'll save the settings then click on ok Okay, now that we have the controller set up we need to set up the graphics now here is something that nobody can understand quite well or get but all games for PlayStation 2 do not work the same so, just because you put one graphic settings that makes one game work at best, doesn't mean it'll work for all the other games you have. Okay, each game has its own graphical settings, so you need to find out what those settings are and set them up for that game. Because if not, then you're going to have a hard time playing like I said before. So, you go to config, and you go to video, and click on plugin settings. This is to configure the graphics. So... Choose the best renderer you think will be optimal for the game. I have Direct 3D9 running for my hardware because I have an NVIDIA GeForce GPU. And I have the original PlayStation 2 resolution. I'm allowing 8-bit textures and logarithmic Z with alpha correction. Those are the basic settings that I have for the game Kingdom Hearts 2. And it works pretty well for me. Okay, so you got the controller set up and you have the graphics set up for the game. Now, how to run the game. If you want to run it from an ISO file, then click on ISO. Once that's done, go to the ISO selector and browse for the ISO file so that the emulator can run that ISO file as the game itself. Now, if your computer has a CD drive, then get the game that, um, sorry, get the live CD of the game. Then click on plugin. Now that it's set to plugin, Okay, leave it as it is, and once you put the game in there and start the emulator, it should read the disk itself. So, to boot the game, just boot fast. If you want to boot the game and the BIOS for the PlayStation 2, click on boot full. I'm going to boot full so you can see. So as you can see, the emulator is working quite well. Um, the, def the quality isn't really that good. Remember, this is an emulator. It's not supposed to be as perfect. So you can see that the game is now loaded, and I apologize for my dog barking. But anyway, uh, hope you liked the tutorial. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.